there folks it's Jonathan Denwood from WP Tonic and in this video I'm going to be discussing Learn Dash with Alimator. Alimator is one of the best ways to build your WordPress powered website all the other pages linked to your course and Learn Dash is one of the most powerful membership elements of your WordPress website. What are some of the things you need to know? What are some of the misinformation that's out there that you need to understand? It's an important subject. I've got some great insights. I'll be back in a few moments, folks. I'm coming back, folks. Um, I'm going to be discussing Animator with Learn Dash. You know, um, Animator came on the scene about five years ago, five, six years ago. Time goes quick. It established itself as one of the leading new type of page building uh, plugin systems for WordPress. Um, WordPress also has built its own internal system called Gutenberg, but Alimator um, is one of the leading and foremost players in the visual um, page building um, platform that enables you to move elements around, um, change padding, margin in a visual quick way. I love it. Um, it also works really great with Learn Dash. It has some native elements that uh, make the building of a modern membership site using Learn Dash really easy. It's got some other third party plugins that enable you to easily customize the um, course grid for courses and individual lesson templates. It really is very powerful and very affordable. I would recommend it straight away. What are some of the drawbacks? Well, the number one drawback, um, which has changed recently, was performance. Um, Alimator did have a reputation in producing a lot of code. And the more code that's utilized to build a, a page, the more that code has to be loaded when somebody comes to your website for the first time. This can be overcome to some extent, to some level, on the quality of your hosting. Um, also, the, ca the type of caching and the type of caching plugin that you're utilizing. These elements utilizing that, the right mixture can reduce the um, problem around code. But the good news is that Alimator about a year ago um, brought in a new way of, uh, of building its websites that reduced the amount of code needed by half to almost two thirds. Um, it, I'm not going to go into the ins and outs of this because unless you're a web designer uh, or a professional um, WordPress developer, you don't care. Um, it, what you want to know is that with the with this change, the code that Alimator produces it has been greatly reduced, and you're going to read a quite a bit on the internet from old um, posts um, and YouTube videos that Elementor doesn't work as well as um, Oxygen or, or Beaver Builder or this or that. Um, there was some truth to it. Even in when it was more relevant, I think it was extremely overplayed because it really dependent. There's a lot of really cheap, crappy WordPress hosting out there. And there's also a lot of, it does really depend on the mixture of plugins and the theme. There's a lot of elements to why a site doesn't load that quickly. Um, so just choosing one part of this matrix is very misleading, very misleading. Um, that was always my stance. But with the 
new way that Elementor codes up now. Almost all these arguments are just tosh, basically. You can dismiss it fundamentally. It really comes down to do you like the interface that Elementor provides? The only area that I would criticise is that you can't really edit your page on the front end. You have to log in, go to the individual page, load up Elementor, and then you can move things around. And the way you move stuff, it will show almost precisely how it shows on the front end. There are other <clears throat> page builders that enable you to edit on the front end, as it's called, the public looking. You you can log in and then go to the public site, select a page and edit right in the front end. A lot of people like that. Some of the Gutenberg um, professional library stroke editors give you some of that functionality. Others don't. Um, but of... Of the main players, I think Animator is now has over six million live websites that it's supporting. Um, it has become the biggest page builder um, to utilize WordPress with on the market at the present moment. Um, the market is changing fundamentally, though, so you do have to keep yourself, um, but. Um, if you're committed to Elementor, I don't think you're going to have any problems fundamentally. Hopefully this has been helpful. If you've got any more questions, just leave them in the video notes. Um, I will answer straight away. Or And if you're feeling really supportive, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the website. It really does encourage me to make more of these videos. I'll see you soon, folks. Bye.